So that was the graph for the resistor. Um, let's do another graph for a different component. We'll do the light bulb next. Okay, I will get it set up and then I'll start collecting the data. Okay, I've got my light bulb connected now. Um, this is the circuit I've drawn this time. I've still got the variable power supply. It connects to the ammeter first and then from the ammeter to the light bulb. And then from the other side of the light bulb back to the power supply. But I've got my voltmeter connected across the wires to the light bulb. Okay, like that. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to start with the voltage at zero um, and I'm going to measure the current and I think I'll record I'll record up to six volts again, the same as last time, just because I know it should fit on the graph fairly. So zero volts, well, I've got no amps, 0, 0.00 amps. Let's go for one volt, 0 0.59 amps, 1.0, 0 0.59 amps, 2.0 volts, 0 0.76. And you notice the light bulb is starting to come on. Three volts, and I've got 0 0.91 amps, 1.04, 1.16, and 6 volts, 1.26 amps. Okay, so that's my current when I'm going forwards. Okay, let's turn the connections around so I'm going to measure negative voltage and current. Okay, so my first reading is zero, and I've got zero amps, so 0, 0.00 amps. Let's go to minus 1 volt, minus 0 0.58, minus 0 0.75, minus 0 0.9, minus 6 is minus 1.26. You notice that actually the numbers for each voltage are pretty much the same each time around. They're within one decimal place, one decimal point. Okay, so let's do my calculation of resistance again. Uh, well, again, I can't really do 0 over 0, so I kind of ignore that one. Um, but let's do resistance is potential difference divided by current again for both of these sets of readings. Okay, so 1.69, Okay, for the other ones, well I've got minus number divided by another minus number so I can just ignore the minuses because they cancel out. So I can just do 1 divided by 0 0.58, 1.72. Okay, 2 divided by 0 0.75 is 2.6 with a dot on it. We have to be careful with that. 2.666, which rounds to 2.67. Again, this is another recurring decimal. 3.33, 3.88, 4 4.76. So when we did our previous calculations, we got 68 ohms for virtually all of them. Um, this time it's starting at 1.69 and going up to 4.76. It's definitely not staying constant, the resistance. Um, it's going up by nearly three times as big. Now, the reason is because the light bulb wire actually doesn't stay at a constant temperature. It gets hot. It gets very hot. It gets so hot that it glows white hot. Um, and that's what causes its temperature, uh, its resistance to increase. OK, so let's try and plot this on a graph and see what shape we get. Let's switch this off first. OK, I'm going to try a similar scale on the, on the cross, uh, on the x-axis because I'm going from the same voltage. But let's see what I've got to go up and down. Um, so my axes have to be like this, current, potential difference. And this has to go from 0 in the middle to 6 and minus 6. And the current has to go from... 1.26, so 1.3 down to minus 1.3. So I have to fit that onto the graph. So let's draw a line across the middle. I'm going to stick to the main lines for the main axes. And I have to go down the middle somewhere, but they're not quite lining up with the middle. So I'll put my middle line here. OK, and let's see where these go. So. 0 to 6, 0, 2, 4, 6, 2, 4, minus 6. OK, so that looks good for the voltage. So that's my potential difference in volts on that axis. Now I've got to start 0, and I've got to get up to 1.26, and I've got to go down to minus 1.26. OK, 0 0.1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no, that doesn't fit. 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8, 1. 
1.2, 1.4, that fits. 0 0.2, 4, 6, 8, 1, 1 1.2, 1.4, that fits, that just about fits. So I'm going to go in half of a big square, it's going to be 0 0.2. And the same going downwards. Okay, but I'm going to just label these on this side because I know that I'm going to need this bit, so I don't want to get in the way. Uh, 0 0.4 to minus 1.4. Okay, and this is my current in amps. So I've got my axes labeled and they fit the graph. Right, let's start plotting. 0, 0, 1.59, 1 volt, 0. 0.4. Five nine, it's virtually up there. About there. One, two, six. There. And our negative voltages. One volt is minus point five eight, minus point four point five eight, and minus six is minus one point two six. Minus one point two six. OK, so let's see what shape that is. Um, well, these bits look like they're straight, but they don't join up with these. And actually, the whole line has to join up. So let's just have a quick look along it. You can kind of clearly see that it's that's not even quite straight. The This end isn't even quite straight. That is definitely curving. Um, the entire thing is definitely not a straight line through the origin. OK, so what we need to do is join that up. So there's going to be a curve that kind of comes through here, through the origin, and then joins that way. OK, now the trick with doing these is trying to do them confidently. Don't sketch the line in like that. We're looking for a confident, smooth curve that joins them all up. So give it a go. It doesn't have to go perfectly through each point. If you're just doing this part to start with, the trick is also to have your hand on the inside of the curve, because then you can draw a curve that way. If you try and draw it this way round and you're kind of moving away from the curve, then you can't get a smooth curve. So I'm just going to draw this part first and I'll come down here and finish it down to there. So smooth curve through there, finishing down here. And then the second part of the curve, I'm going to basically repeat going the other way. OK, so that is my smooth curve through all those points. It's a little bit wobbly there, but it's not too far off. Okay, and I'm quite close to the points. I'm not exactly on all of them, but I'm fairly close. But it's a nice smooth curve. If you look along it, it's not too wobbly. You can actually see that that's a bit wobbly there. So that is my lamp. I'm going to write lamp on this one because otherwise I'll forget what it was.